People like me and you, we're what's left to hold the line. Hello and welcome to our ongoing review of The Division. My name is James and I'm joined once again by Andy Hartup, who's reviewing the game. Hi there. So last week, Andy, we talked about the basics of the game and how everything worked and how the story worked. This week, as we have now had seven days with The Division, we're going to go a little bit deeper. So after seven days, Andy, where are you up to now? Okay, well, um, in some ways I feel like I barely scratched the surface of the game because there is so much going on. Uh, but at the same time, I do feel like I've made progress and I feel a lot wiser than I did when I started. So it's a bit of a roundabout answer. Um, I'm sort of uh, up to sort of mid-teens level, so level 15, level 16. Um, I'm really getting a grip on all the perks and all the um, on all the crafting, things like that. I'm getting sort of, you know, it's, just, it's the stupid little things that you learn, like how you can exchange more common materials for rarer crafting materials so you can craft rarer gear, stuff like that. The game just doesn't tell you about that, so you have to um, you have to work it out for yourself. It's like a learning experience. It is, yeah. So now you're more familiar with those kind of mechanics, do they work as well as you'd expect them to? Well, I have slightly better guns than I had before when I started. It's good then, so uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, they, they work. Um, the perks I've got are slightly better, you know, I've got a a little box for my um, for my medic perk now, which I can just stick out mm -hmm. and it heals other players and you can revive yourself from it, stuff like that, which is good. So you feel like you're progressing, basically. Yeah, I do, yeah. I feel like, um, as with any RPG, my character's getting more powerful and I'm progressing through the game. And you've probably got a new hat. Uh, several. Great. Yeah. So in terms of after the missions, what is the end game content in The Division? I'm not entirely sure what the end game content's going to be yet. Um, the way I see the game progressing is it's a very, very sort of, in a way it's a very linear, you've just got to go gobble up all, all the side quests, do the missions, grind yourself up to the maximum level. I don't know what happens after that beyond slightly harder missions, things like that. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. One thing I have been digging into a lot, though, is the Dark Zone. Mm -hmm. Well, that's something that changes when you hit level 30. We've had a... An interview has come out with Magnus Jensen, who's the Ubisoft massive creative director, and says, once you hit level 30, which is the max level, uh, we create a new instance of the Dark Zone. So players will be entering into this all new Dark Zone, a whole new repopulated Dark Zone, basically. So once you hit level 30, everything changes, much like, I guess, in Destiny. Yeah, and the prospect of it being a level 30 Dark Zone scares me, <laughs> like deeply, deeply scares me. I've been into the Dark Zone uh, quite a few times now, spent a few hours in there. Um, it's really, really hard to get anything out of the mm -hmm. Dark Zone. Um, for those of you who don't necessarily know how it works, uh, you head in there and you're basically, you're on your own or you're with a team of people, but essentially you're on your own because friendly fire's turned off, so you can kill anyone you want. Mm -hmm. um, and you're you beset by NPCs who are probably slightly higher level than you are. So, for a start, it's really, really tough to survive. Any gear that you collect, you, you can't take it back with you because it's contaminated, so you have to evacuate it via an airlift, mm -hmm. via a helicopter. Um, the helicopter takes a minute and a half to arrive, assuming that you can actually make it to the extraction zone. And then you are flooded by waves and waves of enemies. And if you kill all them off, uh, you might well just get shot by one of your teammates in your back who wants your loot. Yeah, or somebody else who's already in the dark zone, because basically yeah. firing off the flare to call in the helicopter is a giant signal for everyone else that someone's got some good loot they want to get out of the dark zone. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a meat grinder. It's a proper meat grinder. But it is probably the best bit about the game because it's really, really interesting. There's that real tension between... Mm. You know, you, you, you forge these une uneasy alliances with people who are in there, so you find other players who are going around in a group and you help them out, you'll kill people. But there's very little way to communicate that you're a good guy or that you're on their side. And to be fair, you could just gun them down at the end and take all their loot. You know, there's always that tension. And it is like it's a really, really interesting mix between like traditional uh, player versus enemy combat and a sort of player versus player combat. Mm. It's, it's whatever you choose it to be. And yeah, I mean, it's really interesting and hard. Yes, yes, it is. So you mentioned going into the Dark Zone alone. Is this a game that you think you can play solo, like the missions and the Dark Zone stuff? Initially, I'd have said yes, but 
I think as the missions go on, they get a lot harder. Um, the bosses at the end, uh, I wouldn't say they're getting more imaginative. They're just uh, tougher bullet sponges, essentially. So I would say that you probably couldn't solo the division. Or if you if you did solo the division, you do it to, to prove that you're great at the division. Yeah, it's definitely a thing that's more fun with other people isn't yeah. it like and it, you know you feel you can flank enemies it feels like you can get catch them in crossfire and things like that rather than just hiding behind a barrier for five minutes yeah and you can you can grind it on your own and level yourself up but doing the missions and doing the dark zone stuff you really really need to be in a team all right so last week we talked about the environments and you were slightly concerned that they might get a bit samey after continuous play any thoughts on that now yeah, they're the same. They're still the same. Yep. There's no, there's nothing that you've seen that you're like that bit's really cool. No, like I've I've even, I've been to like the big a lot of the big New York monuments. I've been to yeah. Times Square, things like that, and it, it just feels an awful lot like another street in New York. It's still full of cars and people who are suffering and dogs taking craps on the floor, stuff like that. It, it, the, there's not a lot of variety there. Okay, so. There were some tech issues at launch, but I think most of them are fixed now, so we can pretty much say it's functioning as it should. Mainly, yeah. I still get a bit of lag sometimes when um, when I'm in certain missions. You know, you, you'll fire stuff off and the hits won't register for a little while and then the enemies will mysteriously drop dead, um, which is, I think, the biggest problem that I've experienced. Um, but but nothing nothing too tragic, no. Okay, so after our seven days of playing now, uh, we will come back and revisit this after another seven days. Um, if you owned Destiny, is this something that you're going to enjoy? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, the The shooting isn't as good as it is in Destiny, and I don't think it ever will be. Um, but, you know, it's a much deeper, much more technical game, so much more potential for sort of making it your own and customising it for yourself and really getting to the nitty-gritty of all the statistics. Okay, so as I said, we'll be back in another seven days with our continuous thoughts on The Division. If you want to check out gamesradar.com, Andy's ongoing review will be updated every other day, Andy? Yep, every other day, yeah. Okay, so go and check that out for continuous coverage there. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more news, reviews, previews and features right here on Games Radar Plus. These are my people. This is my city. We're taking it back.